Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I am gonna be reviewing the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. And I do have mine in the color Tan Neutral Bronze. So that is the color there. So we will be trying this out today. I am gonna read the claims of this foundation just so you guys know what it is. So it says it's a long lasting hydrating liquid foundation that delivers just right. It's medium to buildable coverage with a satin finish. So this is gonna be interesting for me because I do have combination skin slash oily, um, especially since the summer's coming. So my, t my skin tends to get a little bit more oily. So I can't wait to see what it's gonna do on my skin. So yes, it does say that it is medium to buildable coverage. It also does say that it is good for the dry and oily combination skin. So I'm guessing for all skin types, it says it's good for all of them. It says it's gonna give you a full beat uh, with long wearing, medium buildable coverage for only $8. Now, I did see this foundation and I was like, I do have to give it a go. I gotta give it a try and see what it does for me. $8, you can't be $8, especially with all kinds of makeup and the pricing. $8 is just what a girl wants whenever it comes to foundations and things like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give it a try and see, you know, what it does on the face. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin. I'm still using my Professional Benefit Primer. So that's what's best for me in the summertime. I do have to have a pore filling primer. So I'm still using the Professional. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead in with the foundation. Again, this is the product here. Um, you do have to be careful with the packaging because on the back of the packaging, when you're opening this, the lid, as you can see, let me see. Yeah, if you, as you can see, it wants to come off. So just be careful if you don't wanna lose your shade color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on my skin here. I'm just gonna blend it in and see what it looks like. Okay, so first impressions, it feels kind of sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in and see what happens. And the color, the color looks good, but it does look a little bit light. Um, but my face is, it's lighter than my body, so it may blend in perfectly with my face. Um, but I'd probably be able to work with it with bronzer. All right, so I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more, but I mean, that looks really good from this side to this side. So, so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. It is a little bit sticky, but I can set that down with some um, translucent powder and go from there. So let's go ahead and build up the next side. So I do have some acne, so I'm gonna see if it's going to cover that up right here. Let me see if it'll work there. Okay, so it did pretty good. I mean, you can still see it peeking through a little bit. I can see it. Um, so yeah, it, it's definitely medium coverage but you know, I'm a full type of girl, so. Okay, and I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more. Like I said, I'm a full coverage type of person, so I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more and see what happens. So 
So, so far I like it. Um, I like the color. The colors seem to blend it in just fine. Um, but again, my face is lighter than my body, so that may be that. But I mean, overall, it's a very pretty finish. So we'll just have to wait it out and see what happens. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my concealer and set down my face. And then for today's concealer, I am using the Fiera Cosmetics Luxury Concealer. I am mixing two shades. So I do have tan and deep. These are the two shades that I have. I like to mix them together because it turns out to be my perfect shade. All right, so now that the concealer has set in for a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out and just set it with my translucent powder here. I'm still using my CoverGirl translucent powder. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just set the rest of my face with my translucent powder. Okay, so I must say the look looks flawless. After setting your face um, and applying your concealer and setting your face with your translucent powder, the look looks flawless. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we'll be back and I'll let you know my final thoughts on the foundation. Okay, so this completes the look, guys. I love it. I finished my makeup. The makeup is just natural. It doesn't look too much, anything like that. It sits on the skin perfectly. Um, you can see it blends in perfectly. If you set your face properly, then you'll see that, you know, it'll go on and do wonders for you. You just gotta set your skin properly. I did my skincare, I at least wait 30 minutes before I put anything on. And then I, you know, set my face with the Black Radiance um, setting spray. I have the matte setting spray. So I put this on. And then after that, you've seen that I put on the Benefit Professional. Let that sink in for a couple minutes. So it's very important that you wait. Don't just immediately go into your makeup. Otherwise, it's going to be sloppy and all over the place. But yeah, I love it. Go get the foundation. It's only $8. I do recommend it. Um, I do have more videos that will be loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I do hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, stay blessed.